I'm so happy to be here all by myself. Leaked new female robot weekly Boston Dynamics news. Boston Dynamics never fails to wow us with their up and coming advancements in all things robotics. Let's take a look at the latest happenings in the world of Boston Dynamics. Coders part of Robot Dog Olympics. Teams of coders have taken part in a Robot Dog Olympics as part of a scheme to develop innovative tech solutions for the British Army. Almost 40 coders assembled at Ministry of Defense Abbey Wood in Bristol to take part in the unique event. Coders were challenged to program the robotic dogs to perform tasks including a 50-meter sprint, a gymnastics routine, and problem solving. Natasha Dell, an algorithm engineer from Thales, said, I have been really surprised by how agile and responsive the robotic dogs are. They are incredibly mobile, and the speed at which they move is impressive as well as the tasks they can complete. Teams worked with Spot Robotic Dogs, which are designed to autonomously perform non-offensive tasks to protect troops by searching and scanning or delivering medicine and food into disaster areas. Colonel Dan Anders Brown said, the coders have confirmed what we already knew. These are highly capable systems and could significantly reduce risk to life of our soldiers by removing the requirement to carry out dangerous activity in the modern battle space. The event was run by the Future Capabilities Group at Defense Equipment and Support, the procurement arm of the MOD. It also ran in conjunction with Team Defense Information, a body that helps develop innovative solutions for the front line. Humanoid Atlas has perfected running and jumping. Boston Dynamics have done it again. Following on from the viral success of the jumping robot man and the dog that can open doors, the robotics company has now released a video of a model which can run with eerie similarity to a human. Atlas, the name given to this particular robot, can be seen in Boston Dynamics' latest video jogging through a park before jumping a log with ease. Fans of the robotics company will remember Atlas as the robot which backflipped off a box with the skill of a trained gymnast. First, we had driverless cars. Now we have people as people, commented one viewer on the company's latest video. Capitalizing on the fear and admiration their creations inspire, the Massachusetts-based group's YouTube channel has amassed millions of views from its automaton's activities. Robot dog that can clean your house. As humans inch toward a future imagined only by the likes of Isaac Asimov or Philip K. Dick, it seems there will come a time where each household will own a robotic helper pet of its own, especially if Boston Dynamics continues on its current course. Enter Spot Mini. The smaller version of the company's earlier Spot robot is a four-legged bionic dog with an attachable arm that looks more like a giraffe's neck, complete with a clamp. Spot Mini can scuttle about the house, assuming there are no slippery banana peels on the floor, it can crawl under tables, and, most importantly, it can do the dishes. According to Boston Dynamics, Spot Mini weighs 55 pounds or 25 kilograms dripping wet, or 65 pounds or 29.5 kilograms with the arm attached. Spot Mini is one of the quietest robots we have ever built, the company said in its video featuring the animal-like robot. The robotics firm, previously owned by Google's parent company Alphabet, had earlier unleashed unsettingly skeletal animal-human hybrid machines that are constantly shown being kicked over by their very creators. Robot fights back against armed men. Boston Dynamics' door-opening robot dog can now fight off humans. The company has published a new video that shows Spot Mini, a small four-legged robot, successfully open a door and walk through it despite the efforts of a person armed with a hockey stick who repeatedly tries to impede the robot. He initially attempts to prevent Spot Mini's hand from reaching the door handle. When Spot Mini eventually gets a good grip of it and manages to turn the handle and pull the door open, he tries to push the door shut. The robot, however, shows a good turn of speed to fling it open and trot towards the threshold, before the man grabs a piece of material sticking out of Spot Mini's backside and uses it to drag it backwards. Spot Mini struggles against his efforts, its arm outstretched in an attempt to hold the door open and its legs flailing desperately in a bid to move back towards the doorway. When the man lets Spot Mini go, it steps into position again, grasps and turns the door handle, opens the door and walks through it. Boston Dynamics describes the footage as a test of Spot Mini's ability to adjust to disturbances as it opens and walks through a door. A person, not shown, drives the robot up to the door, 
points the hand at the door handle, then gives the go command, both at the beginning of the video and again at 42 seconds, it says. The robot proceeds autonomously from these points on, without help from a person. Like the recently released clip that shows Spot Mini opening a door and holding it open to allow a robot with no arms through, it has provoked plenty of discussion from viewers online. A camera in the hand finds the door handle. Cameras on the body determine if the door is open or closed and navigate through the doorway, says Boston Dynamics, which also offers its assurances that the test did not irritate or harm Spot Mini. Inside Boston Dynamics' project to create humanoid robots. Boston Dynamics is known for the flashy videos of its robots doing impressive feats. Among Boston Dynamics' creations is Atlas, a humanoid robot that has become popular for showing unrivaled ability in jumping over obstacles, doing backflips, and dancing. The videos of Boston Dynamics robots usually go viral, accumulating millions of views on YouTube and generating discussions on social media. Officially, Boston Dynamics is a for-profit organization. The company wants to commercialize its technology and sell products, but at its heart, Boston Dynamics is a research lab filled with engineers and scientists who also want to push the limits of science regardless of the commercial benefits. Aligning these two goals is very difficult, and a testament to the fact is that Boston Dynamics has changed ownership several times in the past decade, going from Google to SoftBank to Hyundai. The company is looking to create a successful business model, and it has already released a few commercial robots, including Spot, a multi-purpose robo-dog, and Stretch, a mobile robo-arm that can move boxes. Both have found interesting applications in different industries, and with Hyundai's manufacturing capacity, Boston Dynamics might be able to turn them into profitable ventures. Atlas, on the other hand, is not one among Boston Dynamics' commercial projects. The company describes it as a research platform. This is not because humanoid biped robots are not commercially useful. We humans have designed our homes, cities, factories, offices, and objects to accommodate our physique. A biped robot that could walk surfaces and handle objects as we do can have unlimited utility and be one of the, if not the most lucrative business opportunities for the robotics industry. It would have great advantage over current mobile robots, which are restricted to specific environments, flat grounds, uniform lighting, flat-sided objects, etc., or require their environments to be changed to accommodate their limits. However, biped robots are also really hard to create. Even Atlas, which is by far the most advanced biped robot, is still a long way from reaching the smooth and versatile motor skills of humans. And a look at some of the failures in one of the new Atlas videos shows the gap that remains to be filled. As Boston Dynamics puts it in its blog post, a robot's ability to complete a backflip may never prove useful in a commercial setting, but it doesn't take a great deal of imagination or sector-specific knowledge to see why it would be helpful for Atlas to be able to perform the same range of movements and physical tasks as humans. If robots can eventually respond to their environments with the same level of dexterity as the average adult human, the range of potential applications will be practically limitless. So, the basic premise is that if you can get a robot to do backflips, jump across platforms, vault over barriers, and run on very narrow paths, you would have taught it all the other basic movements and physical skills that all humans possess. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.